Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. In this episode, I'll show you how to set up an OpenVPN server, user, and Windows client. Before we continue, I just want to ask for your help that if you find this episode helpful and useful, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to help the channel. For those who have already done so, thank you very much for your support. Okay, so since I have created the WireGuard VPN, and the layer 2 tunneling protocol VPN I decided to create an updated video for the open VPN as well I will use the same lab network to simulate the on-site as well as the remote connection to Umada LAN using my PC this PC one thing I like about open VPN is that it is secure fast mature open source and it supports many OS open VPN also works great with TP links ACL so what is OpenVPN? So similar to Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol and WireGuard, still remember it being as the VPN Tunneling Protocol. But saying it's a VPN Tunneling Protocol nowadays isn't giving OpenVPN justice because they are more than that now. They have so many things going on. You can learn more about them as a platform, as a service by going to their website at openvpn.net. I'll put the link at the description so you can learn more about what is open vpn but for the purpose of this video open vpn is a vpn tunneling protocol and i'm going to use their open vpn connect client which is for windows to simulate the connection for remote to omada's open vpn server okay so let's go with the design if you have been watching the previous episodes, this design will be very familiar for you. So I'm going to use the same PC that I have to simulate both on-site and remote connection. My PC has two network interface cards. One is wired and the other one is wireless. When it is connected to the wired, it's mimicking the local connectivity. When it's connected to wireless, it's mimicking or simulating the remote connectivity. Okay, it will still respect this table in here for the new gen LAN configuration as well as this one. For the purpose of this video, the use case scenario that we're going to do is that the client will connect remotely, go into the tunnel, connect to the server here, and it will have unfettered access to this inter-VLAN group, VLAN 60, 70, and 80, and that's why you can see the OpenVPN icon in here. Okay, so before we continue with the configuration, let's just see how I am set up. If you have been following the series, you'll be familiar with the LAN. With you'll be familiar with the next generation LAN configuration with the VLAN one to VLAN ninety. However, I have pre-created VLAN ninety four here in preparation for this particular video. You can see here VLAN ninety four remote. Nothing special for this particular VLAN. If I click edit here, it's pretty much cookie cutter setup. Okay. And I have also due to due to the use case that I'm going to present here, I have also pre-edited the ACL here because of the use case that we discussed earlier on the design that you will have unfettered access to VLAN 60, 70, 80, and well 80. So you can see here, this is how it's set up. 60, 70, 80, and 94. And then in here. Okay, so before we start with the open VPN configurations, there are three prerequisites here. If, if you would like to follow through this video, this guide, I highly suggest you download the client here, okay? for your respective um, version of your OS. For this video, I'm going to use a Windows client, so I already have it installed on my machine. Okay, so that's one of the prerequisite. The second prerequisite is you need to have your public facing IP, your one IP, and the third prerequisite will be your VPN IP pool. So again, for the first prerequisite, please download and install your open VPN connect for Windows client and have it installed. Okay, so for the next prerequisite, go to devices, go to your gateway, 
and if it's not open here if it's like this just click it here and you can see your one IP okay so let's see here one IP again another prerequisite that I have is the remote or VPN IP pool which is 192.168.94.x okay so now that we have all the prerequisites we can start with creating our open VPN server so click settings okay click VPN then let me now blow up this screen click create new VPN policy give it a name then click client to site VPN make sure you go in this option and then select open VPN select account password because we're going to create a user here and select tunnel mode as full leave UDP leave 1194 as alone as default uh, authentication mode as local again because we're going to create a local user here and then for the local networks remember that your open VPN respects the ACL so but even if it respects the ACL for security purposes just give it access to the network that you want it you want it access to okay so I have 60 70 80 and 94 okay for the one we know that it's SFP1, so I'll click select, select SFP1. For the IP pool, I'll give it as 94. That starts at 50 slash 24. I can put it maybe 2. For the DNS, I like to use 9.9.9.9. .9 .9 then 1.1.1.1. And then hit create. So hit create here. So it's still creating there you go so the next step is to create a user so BPN user so let me close this one oh. click create new BPN user then let's do user 1 and then password 1 for your own use case scenario, for your own use case, make sure this the user and password is secure. Okay, this one is for demonstration purposes only. For the protocol, use open VPN. And then for the VPN server, use the one that we have just recently created. Okay, and then create. Okay, so now that you have it here, you have your user and you have your server. So now go back to your server go back to your server here okay so your next step will be to export your profile okay after exporting your profile you can now show it in the folder you can see here you can open it with open VPN connect okay click OK and uh, let's see user one and password one and what you can do is go to your VPN user click edit Okay. Just click connect. I'll just click connect here to save it, but it will not connect. Okay. Let's click that to make sure I save the profile. So before I do the testing, just wanna make sure I will do a setup check. Currently, I'm connected here in the Comcast, and we can check the IP address. 
Okay, let's check the IP address here. So let me refresh. There you go. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disable this wide NIC. And now you can see I don't have internet access anymore. And I'm going to connect to AT&T. Okay, it's taking a while. There you go. And so now I'm connected to AT&T. And to show that I'm already in a different provider, I'll click refresh here. And there you go. You can see that the IP address has changed. Okay. Now that the IP address has changed and I have disabled my WARNIC, that means I don't really have any access to my local OMADA network. You can see here, you can see here, you can see here. But I have my OMADA cloud pre-logged in, in here, so I should be able to reconnect here. There you go. Now I'm already connected. So now I can simulate remote connection to the Omada OpenVPN server. Three, two, one. There you go. You can see there is a bytes in and then bytes out and there's the duration here. You can also check our I believe this one you can also check here you can see we have internet access here and let's go yep 192.168.94.10 we were given the dot 10 IP address and we were given the 9.9.9 .9 and 1.1.1.1 .1 DNS server so let's first check if we have internet um, there you go so now if we look at this configuration, so right now this wired NIC connection is currently disabled. I'm connected to the wireless network here, to the AT&T, okay? And then I'm going to the open VPN tunnel and connected to the VPN server, and I'm now belonging to this intervillian VPN group, okay? That means my IP address should not reflect as Comcast. So let's do a quick check here. Let me refresh. There you go. Okay, and that will still not allow me to have access to the local network controller here. You can see here, because in our ACL list, the intervening group 60, 70, 80, and 94 doesn't have access. Uh, I know we still have access to the network, so internet, so we can have our cloud connection here. But one thing I would like to show as well is that you can see here that the 60, will be accessible like I said it respects our ACL so this ACL according to the ACL according to our use case we have full access unfettered access to VLAN 60, 70, 80 used in VLAN 94 so and if I ping my other clients in here like the 10.75 this one shouldn't work Because it's in VLAN 10. Uh, 90.100 shouldn't work as well because it's in VLAN 90. Uh, however, we can ping VLAN 80, 60.100, VLAN 70, and that should be working fine as well. Okay, so it respects the ACLs as you can see here. That's all the reason why I really like the Open VPN Connect. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. We have set up the server and the client as well as the user for the remote user to be able to connect remotely to the Open VPN server and have access to all the resources in its particular intervillian group. Of course, it's not limited for this intervillian group. You can have it access to the camera VLAN, to the IoT VLAN, to the client, or 
to whatever VLAN that you like your remote users to have access to. The magic is that the OpenVPN respects the TP-Link's ACLs. That makes it really very good for use for TP-Link Umaga line of networking and design. Okay, so if you like this video, if you learn something new, please like, subscribe, and um, don't forget to hit that notification bell button. If you don't like this video, please give it a dislike and let me know what I can improve upon. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you and bye-bye.